YouTube. How y'all doing? It's Jamie here. Just got home and got a yabo. That I want to share with y'all. Hope you don't mind. First off, I believe this is the first time me wearing my YouTube Pipe Presenter shirt. From our dear friend AJ. Mr. Stash Warden. His design. Um, you can order him at stashwardenapparel.com. Got the his little uh, logo on the back. Super comfortable. Fits me good. That's hard to find. Um, so yeah, dig it. And my little uh, paracord. 550 pair cord uh, survival bracelet, Harley Davidson, of course. Sometimes you just gotta buy yourself things, you know? It was just one of them nights, uh, it was actually after I ordered this shirt, kinda got on a splurge, if you will. Felt good ordering something for myself, so got this, I've got this, which y'all haven't seen yet, and you're about to. Um, I'm going to show you now. Actually, first off, though, I was watching a video the other night from our good friend, Brother Boontar. He cracked me up. He was showing uh, showing everybody his little camera stand, little homemade camera stand. And I laughed because I do the same thing um, with whatever is around me most of the time. And I thought I'd jump on a bandwagon and uh, show you my little setup, at least today's setup. Got this coffee mug, or this, uh, what you call it? What the heck do you call these? Why can't I think right now? Everybody else is saying it right now except me. Coaster, there you go. Jesus. Um, it's kind of got, got like a gritty, sandy finish to it. So it's a nice base for the phone. I just, you know, you do all this with my phone. Um, this here, which was little cherry jar, but it's a Mississippi River jar. This here. Um, love these little jars right here. Really nice little rubber seal. I actually found this one in a customer's yard, believe it or not. It was in the middle of a lawn. I'm sure it probably at one time was a candle. But if the cube don't give it away, um, I'm sure you know, it's Frog Morton Cellar. So right now, my two personal fave, that's for sure. So, yeah, that's that, and voila, no slippage because of the grippy coaster, I dig it. Um, here, let's just cut to the chase, huh? Yabo from the man, Mr. Joe Case. The Joe Case Pipe. Um, the bag. He had this on a couple weeks ago, and I just fell in love with it. First off, the color. I wear uh, Red Wing boots, work boots, that are this exact same kind of dark brown red. Love that color. And this here, which is really cool, um, is Bison. Um, so that was a big attraction to me, because I've never had anything made out of bison before. And let me tell you, it's thick. But, you'd think it'd be, like, real firm and whatever, but no, it's still nice and pliable. It's kind of like a real high-quality Rawlings, uh, base plug mitt glove. One that's already got that nice broken feel. That's how this, that's how this is. I mean... You could tell this thing is built to uh, <laughs> last a lifetime. You know, the stitching, it's real simple design. Just folds over, stitch real nice on either end here. And I was looking at it, the twine, it's actually like a braided twine that he uses. Um, so, yeah, it's a, a last forever type deal for sure. You got this nice little... 
leather strap here, put your stuff in. Actually, this is the pipe bag I use now. Just a cheap, I'm sure it's not leather, but I've got five or six different kinds of tobacco in here. Pipe cleaners, check tool, whatnot. So I bring this with me to work every day in my uh, country gentleman. But then I got my lighter. Um, always a couple other little things like a tin of snuff, a can of skull. You know how it goes. So, from now on, grab the pipe, throw it in there, the skull, um, snuff. This one I used today, this uh, medic. Some good stuff right there. Still, I think my personal favorite, though, is the Black Joe. Awesome coffee. Deep, dark coffee flavor. Um. So, yeah, anyway. Back to the bag. Let's see if we can get this in here. Oh, yeah, no problem. Got that bag. It's got a lot of tobacco in it. I probably got... Oh, I don't know, three ounces, maybe pushing four ounces of tobacco in there, check tool, um, five or six pipe cleaners, country gentleman pipe, snuff, little buck knife. What else went in there? Wallet. <laughs> Get the picture. The flight still goes all the way around. No problem. Let's see. Wrap that around once. Wrap this around once. One of those. Another one for good measure. And voila. There you have it. All that. And this one awesome little case, and man, if we had smell a vision you guys would be as happy as I am right now. This smells so wonderful. And you know what's really awesome about Mr. Case? God, this guy is just endless. Always coming up with awesome pipes. But check this out. We even put JC on here for Jamie Cunningham. What an awesome guy. Just a little personal touch. Just kidding, just kidding. The JC for Joe K. Spikes. Cannot wait to uh, store my Dagner Slayer, which is on order. Um, actually, probably will be getting that kind of soon. I ordered it back in, I think, the second week of May. Anyhow. And I'm going to be ordering another one of uh, Joe K. Spikes. Probably two, but one thing at a time here, okay? <laughs> Notice all this unloading I'm doing. It's all out of that bag. Awesome. 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 Just a timeless design. Nice and simple and clean. That's what I love about it most. He does have regular leather. I'm sure you guys have seen the videos on him. Um, cowhide leather. To me, that kind of looked like it had more of a, like a dark olive color, maybe. This here, dark reddish brown bison. Like I said, it's got that awesome broken feel to it. Just classy. What an awesome pipe bag. I'm super excited about this. It's going to go real nice in the saddlebag of the Harley or throw it on the seat there in the in my car. So thank you, Mr. Case. Thank you, Joe. I really appreciate it. Again. God, I just like want to grab it. <clears throat> so nice. Oh, God. It smells so good. Anyways, I hope everybody's going to have a good weekend. Um, I don't have to work all weekend. Hope you guys don't either. 
So I'm going to be making a few videos, uh, a couple of back ear reviews on uh, Sutliff. Like I said, I'll be starting those up. I'll try to do at least two this weekend, maybe even three. Um, I don't know if that's going to come through in a video or not. What might have sounded like an old mid-60s panhead idling right there. That's just my alert tone telling me that I have a email or a message or something. Anyways, if you heard it, sorry about the interruption. <laughs> um, so yeah, tobacco reviews. I'm going to be doing those, a few of them anyhow, this weekend. Um, and also, I have a tobacco tobacconist that I found that's about an hour from me. I'm going to try to uh, make a run out there on the motorcycle probably this weekend, as long as it, the rain doesn't come. Um, from what I've seen, looks like he's got a fair amount of uh, house blends, so that's what really interests me, that, and he actually has a decent pipe selection, too, which around me is hard to find. So, um, like I said before, if this is all true and they're friendly enough, I will make a video and share it with you. So until then, uh, YouTube, everybody out there, fill them up, smoke them up, have a good weekend, go to JoeCase.com, it's got an Etsy site, get you an awesome pipe bag, yeah, that is a kick-ass bag, I tell you, it's nice, very nice, um, and like always, go Tigers. All right, guys. Adios. I'm out. Smoke them up.